Hello, Internet Ians. My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player, and I am your coach of the West Virginia Mini Wars. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Ultimate Battle League. This is going to be our season number three, week number seven. Battle, we are taking on Root, my man Root, and his New Jersey Bro Best today. Uh, be sure to go check him some love in the description below. Go check out his channel. Go like all of his videos. Go watch his side of the video uh, as he deserves it because it's not his fault that we're on showdown. It's my fault. <laughs> Uh, my DS is still having problems. I mentioned this on the Team Builder, but my DS is still unfortunately having problems. Uh, and I still have to figure out how I'm going to fix it. So, uh, getting that all sorted out. Unfortunately, we had to play this on uh, Showdown. I'm sorry to Root, and I'm sorry to everyone watching who wanted to see a Wi Fi battle. It's the way it is, unfortunately. But um, if you want, uh, we're here. If you want to know what we're bringing, why we're bringing it, what sets they have, what items they have why they're in the formation they are what my game plan is going into this all that likes go check out the team brother that i put up yesterday as i go very in depth and all, and all that stuff and you get a good idea of how i build my team but as a real, uh, quick recap we have a sub autonomized salastila with max hp we have a nasty plot three attacks life or thunderous Therian. we have a uh spadef speedy uh mesprit with toxic and rocks we have a defogging i have a very florgus we have a toxic spikes uh, physically defensive tentacruel, and then we have an assault vest, uh, adamant steel legs. So, as you can see on your, uh, screen, the six mods by the man Root has decided to bring today, he is going to be bringing the Serena, the Azumarill, the Necrozma, the Spiritomb, the Registeel, and the Nihil Lego. I was very confused and very happy to see this team, because there was no Mega Camera up on my screen, which means that switching into that is not as much of a problem as originally I anticipated. Nor even is not on my screen. Which is really nice, because that can be could have been a little bit annoying, although not too terribly annoying. With the, with the mods that I have, yeah. Um, Peregly's not here, Didn't uh, wasn't surprised about that. There was no Raikou, which was the biggest, biggest surprise to me. That no Raikou on my screen. I am ecstatic to not see that, because that was probably the one mod that I was scared of the most on his entire team. Uh, so that's really nice to not see. Clefable, not seeing Clefable is really nice. I can get why he didn't bring Clefable. Uh, but regardless, even if I have a really good team versus Clefable, it's still a Clefable and it's still annoying. So, not saying it is always good. Uh, but looking at his team, I immediately think that Red Steel is going to be the rocker. I think that, uh, Nihal Lego is either going to be Choice or Z. I think that Crossman is going to be really annoying. Uh, and that Serena is going to have the move Rapid Spin to stop my hazards. So, Let's get into this. I'm going to lead off. I don't remember what I'm going to lead off with. I don't have my notes pulled up. How are y'all doing today? I believe I'm going to lead off with my Thunder Ethereum. Actually, I don't know if I can finish today. That's so good. Uh, I lead off with my Thunder Ethereum. Yeah, that's what I thought. And uh, I just wanted to mess something up. That's kind of the reason why I led off with it. I'm going to click Sludge Wave here because I'm not going to... Oh, wait. I forgot how fast this goes. I click Sludge Wave because I'm not going to mess around with that threat. Like, <laughs> Zoomerill is too much of a threat for me to not just attack. I knew Red Steel could come out. I knew that the Nihil Lego could come out. But I wanted to just do damage to it. As you can see here, I go for the Nasty Plot. I was okay with taking the Toxic. I was okay with taking the seventh Toss. I want this thing to take some damage. And that's exactly what it does. That is now in range of my uh, Celestela. So one of the mods that I need to weaken is now uh, been weakened. And I can go for another Thunderbolt here. Because I'm not really too concerned with what comes in. If it's the Serena, I can 2 KO that with the Thunderbolt. I see Leftovers. I know it's not Assault Vest. I'm going to go for Sludge Wave, I believe. Yeah, because it's okay. If he doubled out to still, he didn't get anything out of it. So, the Serena goes down, which is really nice. Switching into that could have been really annoying if it was offensive. And he's going to bring out the Nihil Lego, and I'm not going to let him get the boost just yet. So, I'm going to switch out and save my Thunder Wrist for either Sack Fodder or to get off another big hit later. It's already done plenty of what it needs to. And here, I'm just going to go for the Iron Head and get a whole bunch of damage off from the Azure Reel. And immediately see that he is not a ban uh, Belly Drum, that he's probably abandoned our Salt Vest. And that damage is telling me he is banded. So I go out to my Tentacruel, as expected, because Tentacruel is the best mon for me to go out to at this point. I go for my Toxic Spikes here, I believe. Yep, my Toxic Spikes are really, really nice. Uh, unless he brings in Nihal Lego, they're going to be poisoning the Necrozma and the Azumarill and the Spirit Team, which is really nice. And here, predicting said um, uh, Nihal Lego to come out, go for Surf. Because it also would get a little bit of damage off on this um, Rage Steel, but I wanted to catch the Nihil yeah, Lego and get some damage off on that. So here I'm going to bring out my Steelix because I can afford to take a little bit of damage on, on it. And I can threaten something with the Earthquake. Earthquake is going to do a lot to whatever comes in. And if you go to the Spirit Tomb, which is his best check, or the Nihil Lego, which is his, sorry, the Necrozma, which was his other best check, it would get poisoned. And also take an Earthquake. So 
This thing is now poison and it's taking earthquake. I'm okay with it getting burned. I was hoping that I'd be faster than it, but unfortunately I'm not. I'm gonna go for the iron head, try and get some more damage off on the thing because this is another mod that I really want weekend for my uh, Celestia to go in versus team. Here I'm gonna go into my thunderous, hoping that I'm gonna see a status move, but I'm okay with also sacking it off uh, to this spare tomb so that I can bring in my Florgus. Celesteela to finish it off. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my Celesteela. I'm gonna go for the heavy slam. I'm gonna get the attack boost, which is really nice because this is a really threatening mom versus him right now. As he's gonna bring in the Nihil Lego. So here, I don't want my um, Celesteela. Whoops. I don't want my Celesteela to die here. I know that a Z Thunder or a Z, a Z Thunderbolt has a chance, and a Z Thunder has um, a guaranteed chance to knock me out. He sees that I'm uh, attack boosted, so that I'm obviously an, uh, an offensive. Celestia, so he should know that the thunder knocks me out unless I'm like a salt vest, which he doesn't know that I'm not a salt vest yet. So, um, like I'm not, I'm not gonna let my Celestia go down to a Z thunder. And if I pop the Z thunder now, get rid of it, uh, then he can't stop me later. If I predicted him to not go for Z thunder, I could have told him I was up and win. But uh, he goes for regular Thunderbolt, which tells me, okay, maybe he's spec. That's the only reason why I think you would go for Thunderbolt right there, is if you're spec to get the damage off for Azumarill. Otherwise, you go to Necrozma the first time so that you can stop me. But here I go for the Earthquake to threaten something. Once again, th Earthquake can be really threatening, even if he goes after the Red Shield. That crit sucked because he could have gotten some damage off on me with the Sizem Toss before going down. However, it didn't really matter as out comes Necrozma. I'm going to go to my Tentacle. Uh, if he Calm Minds, I'm going to stop it uh, with the Haze. And I'm also going to stack off my Tentacruel here because I think I can beat the Azumarill another way. Uh, he goes for the Photon Kaiser, reveals that he's an Autonomize. I believe he's Life Warp. Is he Life Warp? No. Uh, but he's Autonomize set. So I'm going to go to my Mesprit here to Toxic this thing. And start wearing it down. And uh, I miss. <laughs> Which sucks. Because that damage would have been really, really nice. But it's okay. I do have mods I can check this thing with my Celestia and my uh, Nor Florga. So I can just go for another Toxic. It'll be perfectly fine. And I miss, which is horrible. So I basically just lose my Mesprit for absolutely nothing, which is absolutely detrimental. Uh, and could have potentially cost me the game if he was um, Calm Mind, which is what I was thinking. He's going to be Calm Mind, and he's going to set up my Forgus right now. Uh, but uh, I very quickly realized that he's actually not Calm Mind. He turned out to be um, a part of my three attacks, uh, which is fine because I'm actually going to be able to beat this 1v1 because of my Eye Popper Berry, my Wish, and my Moonblast. So he didn't go for the Photon Guys are here. I'm going to go for the Wish, and I believe I just straight up attack. No, I protect. I'm going to save my Eye Papa Berry. Because uh, if I got crit here, I would have uh, probably lost the game. So, I'm going to get all that health back, and then I believe I'm going to spam Moonblast to try and kill this thing. Uh, Moonblast is going to be a 2k at this range. But you can go some back and forth. I kind of have to do this, because otherwise I'm going to lose this Necrozma. Uh, had I hit the Toxics, of course Moonblast would have been a 2k easy. Here, he's going to bring out his Nihilego this time. I'm going to go for the Wish. And then I'm going to switch out into my uh, uh, Celes. No, I protect. Wow, look at me. Uh, I protect, get the HP back. Keep, I'm keeping my floor gets to check the Necrozma. I'm going to go to my Steelix to stack the thing off. Because I don't want to bring my Celes Steelix hard. I know that I can live to um, liquidation to act the leftovers from my Bandit Azumarill. So I'm going to go to my Celes Steelix. And I believe I'm just going to go for the game. I'm going to autonomize up here to outspeed everything. Including a Choice Garf Nihilego. And uh, do I ask me to choose the uh, Lego? I might not. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but I'm going to be able to go for Heaven Slam, knock this thing out. Even with the um, uh, losing the weight, I'm still going to be able to kill that thing at 21%. Uh, he brings up the Nihil Lego, but that is not going to live this Heaven Slam, not in a million years, even unless it was Focus Dash. It was not. Nope, nope, nope. And then he brings up the Azumarill, which is going to, of course, die to a plus two Heavy Slam from an uh, Admit Celestia. And that is going to be the game. Celestia is going to pick up a nice. Nice! Four kills, I believe. Uh, Celix killed that. And Thunderous killed that. So, yep, four kills. Four kills for my nice Celesteel here. Very, very nice. And that's going to be week seven of the United Battle. Uh, the Ultimate Battle League. God, I'm still doing it. <laughs> that's going to be week four. Week seven. Life is hard. Week seven of the Ultimate Battle League. We are now five and two. Very, very nice. We have three weeks left of the um, regular season with a good chance at playoffs, which I'm really excited for. Especially since I started like one and two. <laughs> uh -huh. But anyway, next week we're going to be taking on Jelly. The last two weeks after that are going to be Deathly and Choice Specs. So I'm looking forward to all those battles. That's going to be that. Five and two. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you next week for our battles versus uh, the OP Jellison. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.